Welcome back inside the Shakopee Ice Arena. Moments away from the opening puck drop in this one. The Sabres back on the ice for the first time in two weeks. Welcoming in the East View Lightning in a South Suburban Conference clash here from Shakopee, Minnesota. Glad to be with here for you on this one from the Luther Burnsville Hyundai Broadcast booth. Matt Dean here on the call alongside Pete Tuzino working the camera for us on Sabres Live. And we're about ready to go. Shakopee repping the white home threads coming off a 4-4 tie against Farmington two weeks ago. They're 5-3-1 and one in the season. It's senior night here in Shakopee. And we've got the new look top line, kind of an old new look with Roeder, Vogel, and Yeri Houston as the top line of forwards with McCarvel and David Bigouette sliding back to the blue line in defense out of the breaks. Shakopee wins the opening draw. It's Kish, Larky, Kronberg, the forwards out there for Eastview alongside Grebner and a little fluttering shot off the stick of Jackson Vogel forces an easy save out of Corey Hendrickson who slides to his left and covers. And we are underway, just 12 seconds played from the Shakopee Ice Arena. You got Soren Pedersen, the senior netminder in goal on senior night the opposite way for Shakopee. This is Vogel in the circle, set to face off against Sam Reller, is now the second line unit. Comes out on the ice for Eastview. And the draw won by the Lightning. They try to swing it around the boards where it's held at the blue line by McCarville, able to ship it along up ahead for Houston, who floats it right back to Eastview. They pick it up and slide it along. It was Reller along to Kiefer, who cleared it out of the zone. And now McCarville has to dig it out deep for Shakopee. Flips it along to David Bigouette, who was playing a little bit of wing the last couple of games that we saw him before Shakopee shut down. And they dump it into their offensive zone for icing. And that will bring it back into Eastview's offensive zone. Not yet a minute played here from the ice arena. And just a simple save and a shot on net by the Sabres against Corey Hendrickson to speak of so far. So here's Sam Zovic with the third line out here for Shakopee, it looks like. Zovic in the faceoff circle, matched up with Eden Griffiths. And this is 13, Thomas Dulson up along the half board, shipping it ahead for Ostertag, who got it only as far as the blue line. It was dumped right back in by Logan Opgrand on the ice for Eastview. A little back-checking effort to lodge it free from Ortman. Won the puck back into his own zone, it goes. And the Lightning try to break out. Aggressive four-check pressure sweeping in. Ostertag, it's what he does. Lodged it loose for a second, but Eastview can't clear as Loisel held it for a moment. But Eastview in the exchange, winning it back. Now it's carried in by Charlie Ortman, the right winger. And he has it swept free as it's picked up by Loisel. Out wide left to Gavin Hintz. He'll clip it on ahead for Kettle to chase down. Hendrickson playing it behind his own net and hitting it along to the half boards. It's kept in for a moment by Evan Hansen. Holding the zone for Shakopee. About two minutes played. It's carried out by Sam Grubner. Third year varsity player, co-captain of this Lightning team. He carries it behind the red line and then cuts it along for a teammate Jordan Larkey to pick up. Larkey dumps in. And the Sabres will get there first to chip it out. Loose puck, calmly, coolly collected by the captain, David Bigaway. He has it on the half boards, given away. Top of the circle, a shot fired wide as John Kish let it loose. Sophomore tied for the Lightning team lead with nine points. He's got four goals. And this top line of forwards, Kish, Larkey, and Kronberg, that's the one you got to watch out for if you're the Sabres. They've accounted for 10 of Eastview's 22 goals this year, a team averaging less than two a game. Here's Ben Smith on senior night trying to break it out. He'll dump in and head to the line for a change. Intercepted by Joe Roeder. He's got a one-on-one, -on -one, falls to the ice, recovers at the half boards, and it's clipped off the skate of Grubner. The smart co-captain who's been on this Eastview team a long time. It's dumped back in by the Sabres. Hendrickson to Grubner, a little touch pass ushered along the boards and up to chase was Moline. It's cleared out. Eastview a little bit thinner than usual on the blue line right now. We mentioned in the pregame show is that's icing against Eastview. It'll come back into the Shakopee offensive zone. 
They're without Gabe Tritzler. We talked with Aaron Fulton, the first year head coach this week, who just let us know that Tritzler would be a, a injury scratch today. But Grubner and Tritzler, especially early in the year, a senior and a junior, had been asked to carry a lot of the load in terms of ice time for Eastview this year. Well, Tritzler's out, and they're leaning on kind of that second pairing of defensemen, Op Grand and Karam. Early in the year, you wouldn't see the Eastview on the ice hardly at all without either Grubner or Tritzler in. Eastview heading into an offside position is Aiden Griffiths. The co-captain skated it in out of position. It'll be a face-off in neutral ice. So maybe advantage for Shakopee to try to take advantage of a little bit of inexperience in the blue line for Eastview. But they have been getting more comfortable with a lot of these guys, including Nick Karam, one of the sophomore defensemen who's been stepping up as of late for the Lightning. A giveaway there as it fell to Dulson. Little touch along to Ostertag on the pass from Zovic. It's dumped back in by Griffiths, a two-sport athlete, also a soccer player at Eastview High. Chipped up along the glass and cleared for Ostertag to chase down, harassing Nick Karam, who's able to get it away for Eastview. Now far side, Logan Opgrand, he's the other sophomore defenseman, showing a nice skill on the puck and fires a low-driven shot that Pedersen had to kind of rear his head around and make sure he tracked the good save. And we've now played four minutes inside the Shakopee Ice Arena. Just one shot on net for each side. Nice little skating move on a cut in from the right wing by Eastview, but it's eventually picked up and cleared by Evan Hansen. Tries to free up Ben Smith, who is harassed by Grubner. And now it's in deep and picked up by the Eastview captain. A big hit laid down by Bigelet, but still a loose puck and a free lane for Max Hansen streaking down the left wing, but Bigelet able to recover and win it back for the Sabres. Bigelet gets as far as the blue line. It was held in and kept up by Eastview for a moment, cleared out by the Sabres, who make a slew of line changes here. Out of the reach of Bigelet, he'll call from a Carvel, the second-year captain to race in and pick it up. Four-check pressure put on by John Kish who looks a little undersized out there on the ice, Kish number five, but he is one of the top scorers for Eastview and a great rink awareness. He makes up for his lack of size with terrific hockey IQ and positional sense. Nice stick sweeping it away was Bigelet to prevent a breakaway chance, intercepted by Karam, who holds it at neutral ice, fighting with Houston, chips it ahead. Here's Vogel showing off the handles. He got past and threw one on net, but it was saved by Hendrickson. Play stays alive. Loisel from the point. Tip shot score. A shot from the point by Matt Loisel opened it up for Joe Roeder, who had the redirect and tip in for his first goal this season. And the Sabres lead it one to nothing. Joe Roeder, the junior, with his first goal of the season. The lead returning score for the Sabres from last year had been in a little bit of a cool slump in terms of scoring production to start the year. But he finds the back of the net for the first time, assisted by Loisel. And it's 5.25 into the first period. There is the Sabres looking for another. Ostertag still stabbing at it in front of net after Thomas Dalson swept inside and nearly stabbed home a second. Secondary assists gonna come from Loisel and then Vogel they announced it as. Achaco leads it 525 into the first on a goal scored by Joe Roeder his first after he netted six and 12 points last season. His second point here in 21. And now a break the other way for the Lightning. A quick wrister shot in from the wing from Sam Reller, but Pedersen able to get down butterfly style and stand tall to make what has been just his second save of the night so far. We've played nearly six minutes from the Shakopee Ice Arena. The Sabres lead it one to nothing on our Bills-Toggery scoreboard. 